This is the Enchanted Valley, 13 miles up the Quinault River. It's looking 5,000 feet up towards Chimney Mountain. And here's the old chalet. I'm about 16 miles up the Quinault River Valley Trail at the junction with the O'Neill Pass Trail. This is looking up towards Anderson Pass. That's where I'm headed now. Looking towards Anderson Peak, Chimney Mountain. Down there is the uh, Enchanted Valley. This is Anderson Pass, a little bit of snow, a couple of ponds, pretty buggy out here right now. This is looking towards the Dos Wallops uh, River Valley down there, we'll be camping down there tonight. And I'm going to head up to the glacier now, up this trail. I am about a mile below La Crosse Pass, as you can see in the distance here. Just hiked up from the Dos Wallops River, finally out of the trees, getting to some good views. Hoping to see a bear sometime soon. Haven't seen one yet this whole trip. I just came over La Crosse Pass. This is looking up towards the headwaters of the Duckabush River. I'll be hiking up there later today. And this is looking towards the uh, center of the Olympics. I believe that is Mount Olympus, the highest point in the Olympic uh, Peninsula, there in the center. And then that's looking off in the other direction over there. I just came down from La Crosse Pass, that trail up there. I'm on the Duckabush River Trail now. Going to head upriver for a few miles, heading up to Marmot Lake tonight. Made it to the Duckabush River. Going to ford here. 
and then the ranger station's just a couple hundred feet up the trail. Here is my camp at Marmot Lake Campground. This is looking up towards the headwaters of the Duckabush River, where we came from. And this down here is Marmot Lake. This is Hart Lake, about a mile up the trail from Marmot Lake. A couple nice campsites here. Nice views of uh, some of the mountains across the valley. Coming back from Hart Lake, this is the view across to O'Neill Pass on the right. That's the trail I'll be using tomorrow to get back to the Quinault River Valley. The camp is down there at Marmot Lake. Got some great views of the uh, Upper Duckabush River area. I am here at La Crosse Lake. The last of the three lakes I'll be visiting in the La Crosse Basin. Not very good lighting right now with the sun over, over in that direction. But uh, it's a pretty nice basin. I see why people camp up here instead of the crowded sites down at Marmot Lake. It's the morning of day four. I just made it to O'Neill Pass, elevation 4,950. This is looking back now towards the headwaters of the upper Duckabush River. I camped at uh, Marmot Lake on the left there. I think that's uh, Mount Anderson and the Anderson Glacier in the background on the left. And then La Crosse Mountain in the center, I think. And the sun's just coming up over the mountain now. I am coming down off O'Neill Pass, a couple thousand feet above the Quinault River Valley. The Enchantment Chalet is down in the, in the bottom there, but got some great views this morning. I am back here at the Enchanted Valley Trail Junction. So another 16 and a half miles to the car. Headed right down that valley. A 
another name for the Enchanted Valley is the Valley of 10,000 Waterfalls. And I can imagine in the winter when it's raining all the time, it would really live up to that name. I'm here at the Pony Bridge. The last bridge over the Quinault River. 2.2 miles to the car. Here we are, back at the Graves Creek Trailhead. So, Total of about 61 miles over four long days. Saw three nice alpine lakes, went over three passes, saw three different river valley systems. Pretty great backpacking trip.